reality. We all know what it is, right? I mean, we know what's real. And what's not? Or do we? Let's start by listing the things that we do know about reality. We know that reality is made up of fundamental particles, and these particles are ruled by forces. We also know that our reality is 3D. To understand reality better, let's break it down. Now this is a tetrahedron. It is the smallest possible indivisible unit of our 3D reality. You know the pixels on your TV screen? Well, imagine reality is your TV screen and tetrahedron are your pixels. Each side of the tetrahedron measures Planck width, or the smallest possible length in existence. Now, let's dive into another key component of understanding reality. Crystals. Crystals are a solid structure formed when the atoms arrange themselves in a three-dimensional symmetrical pattern. An example of a 2D crystal can be any of the following examples. Now this is a 3D crystal. When you project it in an area, it creates a distorted 2D shadow with a pattern. This image is known as a quasi-crystal. A quasi-crystal is the projection of a crystal in a higher dimension. It is the common method that scientists use to simplify figures that are in really high dimensions, like we just did from 3D to 2D. This is a mathematical structure known as the E8 group. In reality, it is in eight dimensions, but our brains cannot imagine that. So, we project it from 8D to 4D to 3D to 2D. In 2007, a theoretical physicist called Gerrit Lisi proposed a theory called the simple theory of everything. To put it simply, the E8 has 248 vertices. In nature, there are 12 fundamental matter particles with the antiparticles and 4 fundamental force carriers. 28 particles by their 8 quantum numbers is a total of 224 particles. When he graphed each particle to a vertices, he discovered that the relationship between the particles was described in the E8 lattice. But there were still 24 particles missing. Lisi theorized that these particles have not been discovered yet. To further prove his theory, we have to leave the work to the Large Hadron Collider in Genova, Switzerland, where scientists collide particles of very high energies to create an explosion of new particles, and wait for them to find one new particle to further prove the EA theory. If it is discovered, it will create a bridge between particle physics and gravity. We just have to wait. With enough curiosity and passion, we can answer all of the remaining questions. Are you ready to change the world?